Hi everybody. I got a lot of questions on this layout that I did on how I did it. And a lot of people are having a problem because I use the keepsake uh, template from an old Kiwi Club. I believe it was September of 2018, but I'm not positive. Anyhow, um, this is no longer available. So what I want to show you is how you can achieve this using the large bracket set. Okay, um, actually you can do something similar to this with any of the brackets from the Kiwi Lane Arsenal. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do this in the white so that you can kind of get a little bit of a, uh, a view on how it works. I'm going to start off with large bracket one because large bracket one is actually probably the closest one to, um, I'm going to use this one, is the closest template to the keepsake template and I'll show you why in just a minute. Okay, basically all you do is you take the bracket and you justify it and push it as far up as you can possibly get it. Don't let this point go off of your edge because that points what you need. Okay, I don't need to travel all the way over with my pencil, but you can. It's just a lot of erasing if you do it. And when you do this technique, I would suggest that you do it on the back of whatever pattern paper you're trying to use because you are going to have some pencil overlaps and you're going to either need to erase those or not have them be seen. Okay. All I'm doing is I'm just tracing it, justifying it up to the top, and then turning my paper 90 degrees and moving it all the way around. And then when I'm coming over to here, I'm just connecting where the two points connect. Okay, and then doing the last one. There. And there, and you'll see that the bracket goes ahead and it makes this nice rounded edge. Now if I bring back keepsake, are you ready for it? Look at that. Okay, so it's the exact same medallion. The only difference is keepsake is smaller. Whereas if you use the large bracket, the large bracket creates a larger dimension. Okay, so that being said, you can do this with any of the templates that are in the bracket family. Okay, this one I took this is my favorite one to use, quite honestly. Um, this is large bracket. And what happens is, is when the two pieces come together, they overlap this section right here. So instead of drawing it out, I kind of know that it does that right to here to here. And then you just twist it over and then you'll, you'll get that. See how this comes back right to that point. You don't really use any of this part. But this is actually one of my very, very famous favorites to use, sorry. So this is large bracket number two. Okay, and this one I've already cut for you. So you can see how it kind of looks. This is large bracket number three. Okay, and you can see, and it has that same connecting to point to where it kind of meets right there too. Now with this one, if you wanted to, you could, when you're cutting, you could round these edges completely out. It's entirely up to you and your preference. Um, it's just, it gives it a little bit more of a feel. You could also kind of come in a little bit deeper if you wanted to have this kind of a little bit more pronounced. There's lots of things that you can do with these templates just because the edge actually goes a certain way doesn't mean you can't cut in differently or you can't change it up just a little bit okay so just keep that in mind and like i said you can do that with any of the bracket sets that we have we of course have large brackets brackets tiny brackets and then we even have um we have the a la carte vintage and then there are two brackets in sweetheart there's sweetheart and tiny sweetheart you can do it in those with those as well Okay, so I hope that helps and I hope that kind of gets your creativity, you know, flowing a little bit to see how you can actually use some templates in a different way other than, you know, just the bracket and using it as a border on the left side or the right. Thanks for watching.